okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I know there will be more uh, participants going to come in. Well, we going to start uh, shop on time. Uh, please to welcome our officer from Andec, Carol, to come all the way from Penang <laughs> virtually to support us for this. Uh, uh, I would say uh, a session that is really, really make myself interested. Wanted to know more after my first contact two weeks ago to have found out this government. I would say. Um, Seriously, it's a big help for small and medium company like us. Okay, so I think this information is very helpful because it seriously can actually help a company to claim up to minimum. Uh, I say minimum, uh, not maximum yet. Uh, minimum nine thousand eight hundred. Seriously, now that is the minimum uh, amount of money we can claim from Andec. It is a really a big amount for us during this time, and up to a maximum depending on your. Employee salary up to twenty three thousand six hundred, right? Yeah, up to twenty three thousand six hundred ringgit. So without further ado, we will actually um invite Carol. Carol, I will pass the stage over to you to share with us. You know, um, what's I would say requirement for us to actually fulfill. Yeah, I know just now we have actually exchanged some idea, but right now it's officially uh, started. If you have some slide, probably can share it, share it with us. Yeah, yeah. I have. Oh, okay. But I saw a question from William, but there's no Q and A section because I think this is a meeting mode, right? So uh, William will be Q and A session, but the uh -huh. but the Q and A session can can freely ask question. Okay. Then as and when we actually feel convenient, we can just uh, answer. Yeah. Did you invite Nick uh, to come and join this um, uh, uh, presentation for the salary and grant uh, presentation? Oh, Nick? I, I thought. <laughs> I, I thought, thought you thought me is presenting. It's okay. It's okay. I I WhatsApp yeah, yeah. him. Where? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, I, asked yeah, yeah. Him, I asked him to join. I gave him the link, so he will be okay. the best person to present. Uh, yes, I think yes. it didn't happen. It happened uh, now, yeah. two thirty p.m. So mm. let me let me give him a shot first. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, thank you, Sean. Thank you, everybody. Thank you mm. to OB Snap, isn't it? Uh, OB Snap Group. Yeah. OB Snap Group. OB Snap yeah. Group. Let me answer Williams first before, because if, if we have a lot of people chatting, then I couldn't track back those questions. Mm -hmm. If the company is MSC company and they have a subsidiary in Malaysia, the Malaysian company must show that they are 60% ownership by a Malaysian. Then you can submit your claims to BSN. Oh, can I have that first? Sorry, I got water. <laughs> See, I like these people here. Oh, mm. See, I need to chill for a bit. Yeah, thanks. No, you so, do. Yeah. So, uh, William, so that, that subsidiary company must be fully uh, 60% at least owned by a Malaysian. Uh, you must have operated six months. And above that, you must have already made 50,000 ringgit in sales turnover. Sales, not turnover, more to sales. So that you can qualify to claim the SME business digitalization grant. Okay, let me share my screen. Cool, right? What do you think? Uh, everybody, is the studio cool? I'm, I'm going to put the video. This time I was showing. So cool. I'm, at, I'm at a studio called Big Big Studio. Yeah. And they use this studio to do a lot of the TikTok live. So I asked the founder to please come and grab me at the airport. And then after that, uh, this is all his studio. Look, they got those lightings. Yeah. Got all that lighting. They got the mic for me to try. This is such a cool mic. Clear. <laughs> Crisp voice. Yes, yeah? seriously, it is. So let me see if Nick Nick is around or not. Did he answer me or not before I share my screen? Mm -hmm. I'm on set now queue for booster jab. I can join after 3 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, 3 p.m. is good. 3 p.m. Yeah. is good. Once you set up, you come online. Okay, I have my colleague Nick who will be talking more of the grant for salary and training. Uh, it's going to close pretty, pretty soon on 31st of August. So in the meantime, I'm going to share my screen on the grant that is called SME Digitalization Grant. So bear with me. I'm going to my slides. Wait, ah. Where's my slides? Ah, okay. Where's my share button? Before I share button, anybody here know MDEC can say yes in the chat or not? No MDEC, M-D-E-C. Can say yes in the chat? Say type yes. I want you to see you're awake or not. We've got 11 people inside here. Yeah. Dashini, hello. Luisa, hello. 
because whenever we make introduction, hi Carol, I'm from MDEC, and I have to tell them we're not from MBANG. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Era, hello. Okay, now I can share my screen. All right, let's share screen and let me project <clears throat> this one. Okay. I can't see the chat now. So hopefully, uh, Sean, you just tell me whether you can see my screen. Yeah, I can see your screen now. Okay. Um, this presentation, I will PDF and share it to the uh, crowd today. You are not allowed to use my our presentation for your presentation to the crowd. Uh, you're not the representative of MDEC, okay? Thank mm -hmm. you all who came and thank you for OpSnap to, 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 to bring us here. Uh, I have another colleague that will come and join us later to talk about the other salary and training grant. But what I'm saying, I'm going to show is more of the SME digitalization grant. So next slide, it talks about more of uh, protective, you know, we don't want you to abuse our slides. So a lot of people like to take our slides, cut here, cut there, cut here, cut there, and then after that, they go present MDAC. Um, if you all know what is MDAC, we are the era of the MSC status, the Malaysia Super Corridor status. So we bring in a lot of tech companies by setting up their data centers or their service centers here, customer service centers here. And this is past 25 years that we did that. So in the past 25 years, oops, there's a slide that is, ah, this one. Let me put this away. <clears throat> so MDEC has been 25 years in the business. We have more than 2,700 companies that is MSC uh, status. So now we call it Malaysia Digital Status. We, bring, we brought in more than 884 billion worth of investment. Uh, how we do that is by promising them the tax incentive, a customized tax incentive for them. They can um, employ foreign workers when they are setting up here. So a lot of customized incentive that we give to um, uh, these uh, foreign companies. So some companies such as Dell or uh, like HSBC or DHL or other foreign MSC company that comes here, uh, they get this status. And when they get this status, they get tax waive from our MOF, but it's a five-year review. So every five years, 10 years in total, five-year uh, review. And if they fulfill a certain amount of criteria to maintain the status. So we have created more than 184 jobs since 1996. Now, 4th of July, we launched Malaysia Digital is our initiative. And Saya Digital is where all the adoption program come into place. Malaysia Digital has three priorities. One is to encourage more digital adoption amongst you, business owners, or the rakyat. And then we want to support more local technology companies to become uh, tech champions. And the other one, the last one is to attract more digital investment to come into Malaysia. Because if there's no digital investment coming here, no, we can't grow. There's no exchange of knowledge. So we always be ketinggalan zaman. All right. How do you find more information about how to become a Malaysia digital? Let's say OpSnap, you have uh, built your own software, your performance management software. And there is, um, there is a, 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 a tool that you, your customer use. You can apply a, a Malaysia digital status. And then when you want to employ a foreign talent to come in, uh, we have our expat center uh, to prepare them with the visa, the letter, the working permit. We also encourage, uh, during our MSc application, the criteria is you must have 50 uh, employees at least, and you must stay put at a cyber center. That means your operation, your office. Now, with Malaysia Digital uh, Initiative, your minimum uh, employee is only two. You don't have to be in cyber center. So you can be anywhere in Malaysia. So that's a very good uh, improvement uh, because of the digital nomad that we are trying to encourage. There's a lot of entrepreneurs out there who cannot afford to even build 50 uh, manpower but they've already grown so fast and so big in Malaysia. So we want to accommodate that. So take that link up and then scan that QR code for you to understand the, the application and the FAQ of how to become a Malaysia digital. On Saya Digital, we have several segments in our MDEC unit that takes care of the rakyat. So we have people who, we have MDEC people who teach about digital literacy where we teach um, non-tech savvy uh, crowd out there to use the phone, to use your tablet, even to use a laptop. So that's called literacy. 
And then saya digital income is about digital freelancer is about you, well, when you see all those um, uh, share, uh, gig drivers, those gig economy, digital freelancers like copywriters or consultants doing uh, a lot of um, freelancing work. So we call it income. Then the uh, the other income, uh, yeah, it's only on gig. Human capital enhancement is we upskill. Uh, the rakyat skills <clears throat> into becoming into having a higher paid jobs. Lastly, is the business. <coughs> Excuse me, ah. Saya digital business is about e-commerce, the entrepreneurship program, and also the program that I'm leading, which is 100 Go Digital. All right. In 100 Go Digital, this is a program. So let us give Nick some more time. Uh, he's taking his jab booster at the moment. <laughs> to go digital right now. It was uh, where's my mouse? Eh, lemak. Eh, how come the picture won't come out? Ah, there. Now, uh, SME digital business digitalization grant. It was announced uh, back in PM's 2020 budget. So this is back in 2019. They are giving twenty three thousand grant for SME. Twenty three thousand. Who's talking on just now? Sorry. Okay. Can I continue? Yes, ah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Because I can't see the chat screen. I can only see my, my slide screen. Um, this announcement was made in 2019 for the 2020 budget. And this is a partnership between BSN and also MDEC. BSN will be the custodian in dispersing the fund. And then MDEC will take a look at who are the technology service provider that you as a business people can apply the grant from. And we, uh, government announced there are more than 550 million uh, allocated budget for this over the five years. So in 2020, when we launched this, it goes up to 2025. So over five years. So 50 matching grant, meaning when you acquire the services from the approved technology service provider, you bring those invoices, go to BSN, you either get a 50% matching from that invoice or up to a maximum of 5,000 ringgit. The seven areas of uh, digitalization area is your e-commerce, your digital marketing, your HR, CRM, ERP, remote working, and procurement. <clears throat> so you can apply uh, up to 5K at any digitalization area. Now, there are more than 589 uh, approved uh, technology service providers whereby you can go and take a look. Uh, I will share you the next slide about the link and all. Uh, for you to find out who are the 589. For example, if you want to go and find out e-commerce, there are people like Site Giant, Kumo 10, or Easy Store that can you can subscribe to and get uh, subsidized from it. Already more than 100k businesses from 2020 benefited from this. There's still a lot of uh, quota available because this program is uh, going to end in 2025. So therefore, please take advantage of this incentive. The next slide that I will show you is the eligibility criteria for you as an owner. One is, <clears throat> click. Wait, ah, uh, uh, yeah, need go back. Ah, there you go. You must be SSM registered or you can be corporacy. You can also be a professionals like uh, accountants, dentists, doctors, lawyers that has a valid practice license. Because some of them do not have SSM license, but they have practice license. So all of them, professional services can apply for this grant as well. And 60% must be owned by Malaysian. And you must have already done business in six months. And you must have a minimum of a sales of 50000 annual. Now, how do you get this kind of information of this grant? This is a, a, a site in BSN or the Q&A. And for you to go and uh, download the application form, but you have to submit physically, okay? Now, the next uh, QR code is how to view the list of all the approved technology service provider that is approved by MDEC, BSN, and Ministry of Finance, MOF. Don't worry, this slide will be shared to you all. And this is recorded session as well. So we hope that OpSnap later will uh, publish this, uh, the replay later. Yes. Yeah, very good. <clears throat> now, the next program that we're going to kick off in September, we, our management already approved this. It's called the SME Digital Boost Up Accelerator Program for business owners. Um, 
this is a program where we know that a lot of companies do not have the same approach when it comes to process, to digitize their process. So we want to equip them with the different uh, tools, uh, maybe for retail is different, for FMCG is different, for services is different. So we came up with this three-day program <clears throat> online, subsidized by MDEC. We've already appointed our training vendor uh, uh, to, to conduct the training and will input your three days training with a lot of the service provider that can give you a lot of free tools for you to immediately use and immediately show results. So we know that uh, you don't know how to, uh, how to, what kind of tools is ready for you. You're confused, you're overwhelmed with so many of this uh, solution. Hence, we put you in these uh, cohorts. So each cohort is about 200 uh, online uh, uh, attendees. So uh, the training provider will provide that kind of training. I am glad to say that <clears throat> majority of you, small and mid-tier are eligible to participate. And the sector, not limited, we want to work with the retailers, the FMB, and also professional services. And which are the seven areas? You should see that the seven areas are the, of course, e-commerce, e-post, your CRM, all this area, we will try to teach you and immediately adopt without having you to pay an initial cost first because um, I have a very good uh, persuasion skills to work with our uh, technology service provider by provide you all with free trial period for you all to use first. Once you see the result, you can upgrade, you can pay for subscription, you can use it later. So we're trying to teach you during the three days. So we hope that once you adopt any of these tools, increase in sales, reduce in manpower, and also kill the long process time cycle. Now, what do you do on this three day? Stage one, 3D training, it's all online. So you can be anywhere with your Zoom or your Teams account, with the internet, you can attend these three, uh, three, uh, three days. We'll get you for your design thinking, get you in the, in the model canvas, understand your stage first. What level of digitalization stage are you at? Then after that, you adopt a tool or two or three, whatever amount of tool that is premium for you. Then stage three will monitor your outcome by, by subscribing to that tool. So we are working together with a lot of technology service provider that provides premium. So we hope that you all can use these tools without having a burden, without having to decide, should I pay now? Should I not pay now? Uh, can I use now? Is it free? So you can use it for free first. So we'll get the technology service provider to teach you when you are online with us. Now, how do you qualify this? Okay, three months. Ah. <clears throat> but you commit to your three days training first. <laughs> Calling 2,000 of you to be joining this, you must be a business owner, must be SSM, and then any of this company registered, sole proprietor, your enterprise, your company, your LLT, is it LL LLP, your corporacy, and professionals with valid practice license, um, three years online course, and you must be able to provide uh, outcome report to the vendor, subsidized by MDEC. So here I give you yeah. a... Yeah, hello? Okay. <laughs> no problem, no problem. These are casual, right? So scan this QR code or immediately go to that link. I hope that later I copy the link into the chat um, to, to, to have you all uh, uh, come to this uh, training, this cohort. So I am happy that I will be part of the onboarding or your onboarding journey as well. I want to implore that all the technology service provider tools is benefiting your company. Okay? Now, where would you go when you don't have this kind of information? So like, like Sean, he's asking, where do we get this kind of information? You will have the same question too. Where would you find this kind of information? So I always tell my, 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 my community to join some of these groups. Where are uh, they? Go back, go back. Uh, this one. 100 Go Digital and Sire Digital is managed by myself. Uh, I always put in a lot of... Um, MDEC initiative or workshops or seminars that are free uh, in these groups. The bottom group, Entrepreneurs and Startup in Malaysia, we are about 98K members now all over the country. Um, this is a portal where we get a lot of help, a lot of uh, uh, assistance. You ask questions and it will be posted out there. Um, there's a lot of experts uh, in the street there. Lastly, if you download this app called DingTalk, 
uh, in Mandarin is called Ting Ting. This is by Alibaba. I built this sad digital community back in 2017 when the app was totally in Mandarin. I can't read Mandarin. So Ding Talk immediately switched it and translated it to English uh, for, for me to use it. This is the first time that we're using it in Malaysia because all this while Ding Talk is being used in China. So when they came to Malaysia, uh, I said, I won't use this app until you change to English. So they managed to change. I bring all my WhatsApp group. There were eight groups of them. Uh, eight groups, you can only fit 250 per group. So I group all of them to come into Ding Talk. Um, force them is, is one of the things that I, I did it so well by closing all those WhatsApp because they have been depending on me uh, putting up a lot of news in WhatsApp. So now we come to Ding Talk. Your photos, your, your videos, all your data, uh, photos and uh, data, uh, video sharing in Ding Talk are all in cloud. So it doesn't clock your phone because imagine your phone, uh, when you have all the WhatsApp video, uh, voice, uh, uh, cam uh, pictures, it's all taking up the storage of your phone. So join this community, um, download first Ding Talk, use your phone number to activate and then go to that link or to this QR code and join. 5,400 of you are in there and I put up a lot of calendars of events for your benefit so you can check out what's happening this week or what's happening next week. And a lot of people are there that you can find. You can find people from Easy Store or Post Malaysia if you're lucky. Uh, they may not be active there talking, but you can get their numbers and you can WhatsApp them. So that's the end of my slides. I only have this contact number for you. Don't try to call me, WhatsApp only. So sometimes Harley can pick up my call. And these are the last of my slides. So if any questions out there, you can, uh, let me stop sharing. Okay, I will type the numbers into a chat um, while waiting for Nick to come. And then uh, I am open to Q&A at the moment. Let's, let's start Q&A and um, be more casual, guys. Don't be so shy. Huh? We won't bite. <laughs> yes <laughs> um carol uh, we are we are actually uh approved i would say training provider by mdec we, we just got approval two weeks ago when we actually submit our application uh the course that we actually uh kind of approved by hrdf so mm. we actually sent in for application so it was actually got approved Congrats. uh thank you so much and and uh as, as you just mentioned for those uh i would say uh, during that three days of training that you just mentioned, uh, we in fact wanted to contribute contribute our this uh, software. It's actually a execution strategy execution tools. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure should I share it share it to you now uh, to to brief you, let you go through probably later. Yeah, uh, to see. We'll do it one to one. Um, yeah. is yes. your is your performance management tool comes with a freemium model that we can yes. try first. Okay, that's yes. good then you yeah. can be part of our cohorts by one of our trainer. I'm going to later share you um, one of our links to call for freemium from our technology service provider. You fill mm -hmm. that up. And then after that, we'll try to slot you into any of the three days to introduce um, your solution and to yes. immediately onboard these guys and let them trial and use your product first so we can do that. Yeah, thank you so much. No problem. Let me try to get out that link while people ask questions. Huh? Wait, huh? <laughs> Let me try to get that link for you. Uh, yeah. Questions, guys? Don't come be on, shy. Questions. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell you what. The first time I actually uh, come to know uh, MDAC, it was a few years ago, but I never took the initiative to go and have a closer look until ah. two weeks ago. My friends actually invited me to this Gamuda because of this uh, property launching. Ah, there is this okay. Lunch, <laughs> luxury lunch come along. So I went for the lunch. Then also I got to know MDAC from there. Uh, then I found out, whoa, such a good offer from the government. And also the genuine interest wanted to help the, uh, you know, the SME in Malaysia. So I would say this is a very good opportunity, guys. Any question at all? Uh, let's shoot to uh, this uh, Carol. Yeah. Yep. Come on. I was busy presenting just now. My, my, my colleagues are screaming, Carol, where's the link to join and all this? I am an independent corporate trainer and business owner. Which way can I tap for my business? Um, if you are a trainer, what kind of business owner, Ron? Uh, is it just training consultancy that you do or you have a product to sell as well? Training, so mostly training. Uh, can I ask you, uh, your training is more to manufacturing type of people what 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 we where do you fit what do you train 
services. Uh, HRDN? Satipa? Yes, okay. Majority of you that has a HRDF, um, sadly to say later when Nick is about to present the grant and salary uh, grant uh, later, we do have an appointed uh, training providers, external training provider, uh, but these companies can only apply uh, by 31st of August to, 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 to engage external, um, external trainer. If uh, When you are a corporate trainer, it is so important that for you to learn video making like this on, if you notice a lot of TikTok, a lot of TikTok user right now, a lot of these trainers right now give very bite-sized tips um, about, hey, if you want to become a very good speaker, uh, no need to go to Toastmaster, you know, tip number one, you should be like that, like that, tip number two. So that's how people know that you are expert in your area, in your, your you're very expert in that area. So let's say um, uh, uh, Sean would like to come over to TikTok and promote things like, you know, um, your performance management, right? Mm -hmm. So you would say bad, bad, bad pain point first. Is it, you know, so hard for you to manage your performance. How do you do it normally? Maybe you do it via a spreadsheet or what. But now with this tool, uh, is a click of one, two, three. You can easily manage your HR within this dashboard. So you have to give them education instead of you hard selling your products. When you're a corporate trainer, try to instill what is your expert first. What, what do you expert, expert in? Are you expert in, let's say, services? What kind of services? Um, more into customer services, more into uh, mass communication services. So teach people first the bad point. Uh, customer service, yeah? Customer service. So you have to teach people. You, you will see a lot of um, TikTok videos. Huh? They show you the bad at customer service, you know, the way they talk, the way they serve, the way they're eyeballing you each other, the way they eye contact. Then after that, you come in and after you do the teaching, this is how you should be positioning yourself as customer service. Good eye contact, good communication skill, smile, your posture, your... So you have to give a 90 second or, or at least a two minute video. You have to cut your video very short, uh, uh, short video, short video, short video, short video. And then you weave them into a full video. So try to explore that. Um, uh, um, try to explore that, uh, 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 Ron. Because you can't promote this in your Facebook anymore. You can't promote this in your website, for example, because the traffic is not there. But if you put on TikTok and you put the hashtag uh, for you page, hashtag FYP, hashtag uh, tips of uh, 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 customer service and all this, all the hashtag is there because if you put hashtag in your website, you can't get crowd. If you put hashtag in Facebook, you can't get crowd. The hashtag only works in IG, in TikTok. And if you put the right hashtag, TikTok has an algorithm that you and I won't know. But when they see that you're regularly making a lot of tips video, education video, TikTok will put that video and grab free traffic for you if you know how to do your hashtag. So I'm going to do a lot of, uh, I'm, planning, I'm planning to do a TikTok workshop for uh, 30 minutes with a, a very famous uh, TikTok guru here, but she's, a, she's also a Shopee expert. But I'm trying to bring her in and do online because I cannot afford to bring her go offline. I can only afford her, hey, Ira, Coach Ira, we call her, can you do uh, bite-sized uh, do's and don'ts about how to do videos and all over TikTok? Because it's trending right now and you should not be left on left uh, left out from this because this is how i put in my tiktok on food on you know gadgets uh, uh, uh pulling traffic putting um uh, uh, the right hashtag so that uh, tiktok will provide free traffic and then sometimes if they see you have a lot of video tiktok will also give you free vouchers for your clients to come and buy from you so for example you have a 30 ringgit, uh, 30 ringgit uh, for 30 minutes consultancy service and all. And you want to sell that training course to your followers over in TikTok. TikTok will know how to give vouchers at TikTok cost, your cost. So explore that, people. Please explore that. Um, Sean, I'm going to type in this website, mm -hmm. uh, this link. This link yeah. that I'm sharing you is called for freemiums. Uh, from pack providers, okay, providers, and 
I will also show everyone the link uh, for us, for you to join in the digital boost up. Hold on, uh, copy first. So I'm slowly, slowly trying to type up the link. This is the link uh, to sign up for SME Digital Boost Up Accelerator Program. Okay, what else should I share to you all? Uh, that's about it. Yeah, only these two links. The other links I will share you is, uh, where's my notepad? I always prepare my notepad. It's not turned on now. Ah, there you go. About Malaysia Digital. Let me put up that link. Uh, is Nicholas here yet? Nicholas, you better say uh, hi to me. Okay. Let me see. Uh, he, he actually texting me. Let me see uh, what's the message is. Okay. Jay, it's not on. No. My laptop about to finish. Oh, he, he's just stuck at vaccination center. Okay. For booster give, him jab. give him some time. So I gave you yeah. all a link about how to... Uh, uh, got ready. How to uh, get to know what is Malaysia digital status? Huh? The next link that I will share to you, Yao Dong, mm, is the FB group that you all should join, 100 Go Digital and Saya Digital. All right, FB group. What else do I need to show to you all? And Ding Talk. Hold on, uh. Ding Talk. Mana you Ding Talk? There you go. Ding Talk. Ding Talk is here. And a final um, link that I will show you is please go to this YouTube channel and subscribe because I just uploaded some videos of our seminars uh, happened uh, last week, August 9th. We talk about government guaranteed schemes. We talk about tips on writing a business proposal to apply loan. We talk about um, the MyWeed program as well from Nick and also the SME Digital uh, Accelerator Boost Up that I promote. So we did this in video. Uh, I, I put all the links there already in this uh, YouTube video that you can have a look. Okay. Any questions, guys? You're very shy or very, very quiet. Okay, I would say most of the gentlemen and ladies are actually came for the uh, training and salary incentive. <laughs> ah, okay. Soon, soon, soon. Nick will come. Let him go take his jab first. Yes, Gary. Gary, you tried to say something? Sorry. Ah uh, yeah, yes, Carol. Yeah, this is Gary. Yeah. I'm calling I'm, I'm I'm from a construction company actually. Because just now the, the things that you shared, right? Uh mm. to Sean and Ron as well, both of them are from the training provider or the service provider industry. Okay. So okay. for um I I was thinking because I um I got into this because I, I got um caught up with the this this uh sub lines uh, you know get twenty five thousand k through digitalization. So I was thinking, you know, what what kind of um um the benefit or you know what kind of things that we can get from this session, yeah. Okay, yeah. you are a construction company or company. you work in a construction company? I, I work in a construction company. So do you do a lot of tender for your um you know the construction and all these government tender or private tender? Do you have that? Do you part participate um. in that? We we are, I'm actually from the HR department, so I do not participate. HR department. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yes. uh, then you wait for Nick first. Nick is the one that's going to promote on the salary and the and the training grant. I can show you briefly, but I am not the subject matter expert to to uh -huh. share you his uh, slides because they're okay. already doing that a lot of slides. My program is different, and Nick's program is different. Uh, uh, I would tell Sean, Sean, please go and hug on Nick faster. Come back. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, but okay. No problem. Construction no problem. company. Yeah. Let me show you something. Hold on. Uh, if I can show you. Uh, ah, okay. Let me show this to thank you, Carol, for your advice. Explore, explore the TikTok. Um, Gary, take a look yes. at this um construction marketplace called newace.com. Is is by the Malaysian. I think it's already two years old. Mm -hmm. The good thing about this company is that they onboard all construction related uh, company that you know when you go through tender there's a lot of paperwork uh, you can there's an AI engine inside new ways that imports all your paperwork and digitize for you and there's a lot of suppliers list as well where you can make comparison of your price you can be a supplier mm -hmm. okay new ways okay. uh, so explore this and if you think that you want the contact number let me see ya. Uh, Hold on, uh. Let me find whether the contact number is okay. in my WhatsApp or not. Okay, that's <laughs> New great. Ace. Thank you. New Ace. It's a, it's a platform purely for construction. Uh, JC. Mm. Ah, I found it. JC from New Ace. Uh, I hope he is still 
the person uh, in China. JC, are you still in U.S.? Uh, see? Immediately ask first. If not, I won't share his number. Okay. So, uh, because you don't have a lot of uh, construction site in Malaysian marketplaces. Ma majority of marketplaces are either B2C or very FMCG type of B2B. Not so much of construction. Okay. And this new age, when they approached me a year ago, about one and a half year ago, and they show me the back end of how people do a lot of tender and all. But for this session, we promise you that we will talk about the grant and the salary. Um, while we're waiting for Nick, let me open the slide first for you all. Uh, let me find the slide. Mana? Mana do? I kept all the slides all, all in the cloud. Polona. Speaking engagement, number nine. Ah, there you go. Presentation slides. There you go. Ah. Open up first. There you go. I just, that's a program call. Oh, I, I don't think I can do that. I seriously have to wait our Taikonic to come up. Mm -hmm. Where are? Where is he? Lah? Oh, anything we can work together. Okay, he's still in New Age. Let me show you the WhatsApp number of yeah. uh, JC from New Age. He's a founder. There you go. All right, thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. Ah, I am promoting New Ace. New Ace, new new Ace in my in a, a webinar in a webinar. Okay, what happened? Hi, Carol. I'm still stuck at the queue now. There'll be another session on Thursday, can I don't know. Okay, I present lah as briefly as I can, <laughs> and then when I present this, I hope that uh when you have any questions, I'll give you Nick's number. Okay. Let you all okay. bombard me with question with WhatsApp. Okay, be, to be fair to everybody, yeah. Okay, share screen. Let's share. Okay. Okay, not this share. Alamak. Not this screen. Hold on. Let me kill this one first. Ah, where is Nick's presentation? Ah, check it, check it. Share. Okay. Let's project. Can see everybody? Yep. Yes. Very good. Now, hold on now. The program is called My Digital Workforce Work in Tech. Very mouthful. In short, it's called My Wit. And this is an initiative to incentivize the employers to hire the unemployed Malaysian uh, through upskilling your staff, the new staff that comes in, or to reskill your staff. So we also want you all to go and hire people uh, for digital jobs, but it can be sales, it can be tech and non-tech. So what does it offer? Salary and training incentive. It cannot be all. And salary and training incentive. Yeah. So what does it mean? If you hire someone, uh, it can be sales coordinator, it can be customer service, uh, backdated 20, uh, 31st, no, 30th, 21st of April 2021. So it can be backdated. Let's say you hire a salesperson and that salesperson gone through an in-house training. The in-house training must be done 40 hours minimum by an employee of your own staff. No, that, but when we mean by your own staff, that means you have to show to MDEC you paid EPF and salary to them. So let's say uh, your, your own staff go and train this new batch of, um, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, new employees. 40 hours minimum of training. You can claim six months 40% of their salary plus 5,000 per head after they've completed their 40 hours training. Okay. Um, I don't know how to explain this because this is so, so not my slide. So you, you look at the, the one on the right, the lighter blue one. So enjoy a training incentive for up to 23,600 per person if you provide your new staff with training. So on top of your 40% incentive, you can claim another 5K from your from per head. A company such as, let's say Gary just now, you can claim up to 23,600. But you have to give that kind of um, uh, work, uh, paperwork. Now, take a look at the bottom um, link, mdat slash myweight. So this is our, our, our link. And this presentation slide that we show is exactly the same as you see in the website right now. That's what I heard from Nikla. So you all go and visit. The next uh, slides is the eligibility criteria. 
So let's say the company who are hiring fresh grad, unemployment, or people retrenched uh, because during COVID they retrenched, it can be digital tech roles. So it can be look, those programmer, those uh, graphic designers, uh, coders, very, very technical, or digital business services. So it can be salesperson, customer service, your service management, those people who do your Lazada accounts and all this. Uh, can apply. So how do you find those uh, ca ca criteria of uh, uh, category of jobs? It will be on the next slide. So your training incentive, if you provide in-house, it can be any of your staff, employed staff, give training to the new staff. So you can claim up to 5K. There's no limit. Okay. If you send your staff to an external training, this one, no limit on how many hours, you get to claim up to 8K per head. Okay. On the salary incentive, this is plus, yeah? you cannot do either or. When you hire the new staff, you can get incentive. So you must give them a minimum salary of uh, 2000 so that every month you get 40% subsidized. Uh, what is 40% of uh, 2000 800 is it? Yeah, 800. 800 times uh, salary incentive are kept at 2006 So let's say you give them uh, your gaji, the gaji may be more than 10 k if it's 40%, it must be kept at 2006 per month. So your gaji must be 6005 lah, correct? So in-house training, you must have 40 hours, but the external training, no minimum hours. So the courses must be listed at the Digital Skills Training Directory. I'll show you the next page later. Yeah. So it can be career upgrade, it can be learning course, it can be training them how to become, uh, it can be in-house training. So let's look at what is the next slide. So these are the jobs that are categorize of who you can employ. Okay, there's nine areas. Uh, Nick is always saying, I followed Nick's presentation. He asked you to pay attention to item number six, okay? In item number six, wow, okay? Look at item number six. Item number six can be from content, your customer service, your back office, your finance accounting people, your technical support, your human resource also can be hired sales and marketing, procurement or technology. But from these slides, Nick summarized it into eight areas of digital global business services that when you hire, it is uh, approved that you can, um, uh, uh, you can apply the MyWit program. So from all this, it doesn't have to be tech. So we call this non-tech. That's why we put it digital global business services because majority of your business will be on cloud and uh, we'll be serving customers uh, maybe in Zoom or in Teams uh, office. You don't have to be on, on site. So this is where uh, you can employ this kind of support and get grants from it. This is external courses and training provided. And I'm sure, Sean, are you talking about you got approved from this uh, course or what? I, I also don't know which course that you got approved from. Is it this oh, one? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. So one of Sean's training should be here, uh, should be in this list about maybe teaching people how to do um, uh, performance management. And uh, if, if, if let's say my company uh, send my, send, I, I send my, 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 my staff to go and learn one of Sean's uh, courses. If Sean, let's say charge, let's say 10K per, per training. So I can go and claim up to 8,000 ringgit. But I still have to pay 2K lah to Sean. Okay. So you're pandai -pandai lah. Now, <laughs> look at the bottom, 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 bottom of this slide. You can see that for more info, later I will try to copy this slide and put it into the um, uh, chat. Digital skills training directory. You can see what kind of directory. But if you don't want to go through these courses, you can do in-house as well. Okay, in-house don't have approved courses because in-house is your expertise. You maybe have to teach your, your new staff how to do uh, phone calling or customer service and all. So for example, just now Ron, Ron, you got to do uh, customer service training, right? So if you want to submit your uh, modules to MDEC to be part of this directory, the email is there, uh, mywit.gmd at mdec.com.my. So, so uh, but because the program is going to end in 31st August, don't lose hope first. Submit and put yourself into this picture first. 
whether or not there is an ongoing grant, nanti got belanja one again coming uh, this coming November or October going to be announced. Hopefully, uh, this program is a hot program for us to revive. And then after that, let's see what MOF says. Now, okay, so don't stop yourself there, whether there's a deadline or not, but put yourself into this picture first, okay? Now, for fresh graduate, you must be a Malaysian citizen. So we cannot benefit this to foreign, foreign uh, citizen. No permanent employment for a minimum of two months. Okay. So that means when you quit a job, when you lost your job, you must have a two months cooling period. You cannot immediately join. Uh, you cannot be a close family. Let's say Sean want to hire the wife and want to uh, obtain the wife's benefit. Cannot. Abang, adik, kakak, sister, auntie, grandma, grandpa, tak boleh. Okay. It must be non-related to you. All right, cannot be a shareholder as well. Your letter of commencement must start last year in April and your contract to your new employees must be at least one year. They cannot be part of the Pekeso, Jamin Kerja, Penjana Kerja program. You cannot double stack your, your claims and double benefit from it. So you must not have claimed other benefits, okay? Other programs, okay? So how do you do your submission? Hire the candidate, provide that contract, and then submit the training uh, that you have already gone, whether it's internal or external. Apply, put an online. At least this is online. MDEC will do the valuation, and you will receive a partnership agreement from MDEC from our legal. Then, the, then uh, after approval, you as a company that hires have to go into our MDEC to register the e-invoicing for us to disperse the money back to you. Okay. Usually, this takes a month for you all to process. This is another area, uh, that another program that we have for you out there to learn about digital skills. It's all free. Um, I think this is by the digital talent team, not, not from my division. So I did my best in um, providing the best I can while Nick is having his booster jab. Um, I am going to his phone number now. Yeah, Nicholas is here. Hey, <laughs> I hope I did the right thing to promote, man. How did you get your jab? Yeah, yeah so far, ah. no no other special feeling yet. <laughs> but but you, have you gotten the jab? Uh, yeah, I gotten the jab already. Okay, but there is a question there. Nick, can you see whether the question aimed for my wit or aimed for me? Let me see, yeah. Questions. <laughs> I couldn't see any, any questions ah, because I yes, just signed in. I, yeah. I saw the chat. Wait, what the chat? Carol, we will receive a copy of this training slide show. Yes, Bole, I will send it to uh, Sean. Sean yep. will, will email, I will PDF my slide and also um, uh, my slide and also Nicholas' slide. See, my language, my language <laughs> colleague is here already. <laughs> Hello, my boss is here. <laughs> hey, no, la, I'm not your boss. La. I'm your colleague. La. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. So, anybody not clear? At least I have Nick here. Uh, I did my best to present because yeah, I am so free. not the subject expert. Boleh, can I ask any questions? Yes, seriously. Tak ada questions ah. Tak ada questions means Carol can hey, you know, explain so well already. Man, where are you Nick now? Me? Uh, I'm uh, one you, one you. Travel to one you to get a spot. Okay, there's one question now. Ron put up. So let's say I hire a digital marketing manager for my company. I can claim the salary and training costs? Question mark. Ah, yes. But of course, uh, that's a limit, right? Uh, um, the limit will be per month will be 2,600. And then uh, you can do uh, claim it for six months. And together with the training, could be up to 8,000 ringgit mm -hmm. if you select yeah. mm -hmm. external yeah. training. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Rajanur, <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> oh, Rajanur, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's my colleague, that's my teammate. Uh. Uh, Ron, hey, do you give that answer? Hope you're clear. So hopefully, your the digital marketing that you hired, that manager, is backdated. Uh, uh, Nick, what happened if they just hired uh, today? So yeah, they can. must show the contract uh, one year and all this, right? And what kind of training has been given to them, right? Correct. Uh, minimum uh, offering of 12 months. If permanent, then uh, no need. You know, you don't need to see state that particular clause in, the, in your agreement. If let's say there uh, is a contract position, then you have to mention at least uh, 12 months offering. In your contract. Mm. Yep. Uh, Nick, uh, our company actually yep. has actually applied uh, for this training and salary incentive for two of the uh, 
programmer which we actually hired uh, mm. around six months ago. Now, mm. because we just submitted probably last last week, okay, mm -hmm. so it has not got approved yet. Well, during this time, do we need to start doing the uh, training? Because they are going to take, of course, our in-house training, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the training which got the uh, HRDF and also approved by MDAC. So do we need to wait for the approval letter or do we do we conduct the training first? Uh, there's uh, two, you know, uh, two ways of uh, addressing, addressing, uh, addressing these questions. I think, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's better uh, to be safe, right? Uh, it's better that you wait for the approval email. It, was, it takes about, I think, uh, about 30 working days. You know, uh, once you've already gotten the email before proceeding to partnership agreement, Okay, good. Uh, we, we actually received the uh, kind of approval letter to, to make us become a partner to conduct the training. Oh, that yeah. one, I think, is another one. I mean, as a uh, training provider, that, that one is not part of MyVid. Uh, MyVid is only for claim. Oh, MyVid is only for a claim. Yeah. It's an incentive. Okay. It's, not, it's not for training providers. Training providers will be another, you know, another matters. Lah. It's not part of MyVid. Oh, Okay. We, we, I in fact get my get my colleague to kind of send our course in to, to get approved. So no, that one is another matter. That one, that one is another, it's not relating it is, to my bit. <laughs> okay, it is it is not today matter, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Correct. Okay, okay, understand, understand. I think okay. you, you I think the one that you mentioned, right, is is a special considerations for external training. Uh, that one you have to get approval la, uh, before you yeah. submit for your application. That one is another yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, correct. correct. Uh just 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 to say that we our one is actually got approved. Lah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. More questions for Nick. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is some questions. Yeah. What happened? The the if they hire digital marketing manager and actually resign. Okay, if let's say the uh the particular uh the uh, digital marketing manager resign on the third month, right? So means you have you can only reimburse back a claim back for the you know three full months only. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Uh, hi, Nick. Oh. I have a question here. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm Gary. Yeah. I'm from yep. a consulting hi, company. Yeah. So if I'm hiring any of the digital uh, talents uh, from uh, within, because I see that the term and conditions, uh, it is uh, eligibility, right? The period is only from April to August. I, I'm assuming that if I'm hiring somebody, like you know, I hire I the the offer has been I extended to this candidate on uh, by this month, by end of this month, but this person is gonna reporting duty on uh, somewhere in October probably. Then will I still be you know will this person still eligible for this um uh, incentive? Uh no, because uh it's basically the date that I can, it must be within the commencement date of that particular uh, position, right? Must be within that window. Which is last year April up to thirty first August this year. I see. Must be consistent. Uh. you cannot like offer you know uh, this month and then they only commence the job in October or November. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So mm. uh, on that aspect, right, meaning to say, I'm not uh, we're not we're not able to claim under that that uh, spectrum. But I'm I'm because uh, while Carol was also um explaining, right, she said about the other spectrum is on the training part. So mm -hmm. uh, if I'm uh during April to August uh, that period of time, if I'm uh, con that or I carry out any sort of training related to digital uh, or digitalization kind, then I can claim is it. Uh, yes, uh, provided you have the supporting documents la, when it comes for reimbursement. Because reimbursement mm -hmm. will be uh, claimable based on the uh, list of training that you submitted to us at, in the early stage of the applications. For example, you, you already grant, uh, conducted three trainings last year. Yes, you can submit those three trainings that uh, you conducted in-house. Okay, no problem. As long as provided you have the respective supporting documents. La you know, the attendant, attendance slip la, or photo, la, something like that, that you can prove. Because otherwise, you'll face a similar, uh, back to square one, a, a similar problems that you face in reimbursement stage when uh, they're actually requesting you to provide the proof. Mm, mm. Okay, all right. Uh, if, if I'm claiming the training right, under HRDF, it won't conflict thing with no. this, right? Yeah, Definitive. different thing, yeah, different thing. Okay. Yeah. And if the training is conducted via online that time? It, 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 online, it, physical. 
online and physical. That that's fine, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, just to share more on that, on that note, like, uh, there's an uh, industry benchmark for online. Online will be eight hours uh, per day. For online training, will be 700 ringgit per day, eight hours. For whereby for physical, right, will be 1,300. Like, this is an industry uh, benchmark like, when it comes for, you know, uh, cost uh, calculation. Boleh, Kero, you are muted. No more question already. Okay. Kau team. <laughs> Carol, Carol, you're muted. You need to no, unmute. I cannot. I need to unmute here. Then they can hear me. <laughs> oh, she's testing the mic. <laughs> oh, there's one question. Uh, if we hire freelancer to be our permanent employee, uh, then is the new employee okay. eligible? Of course, they are eligible as if you are hiring them for 12 months minimum or uh, hire them as permanent employees. Yes. Yeah, just to share a little bit more, If as long as they are fresh graduate, they are uh, uh, part-timers, contract workers, uh, freelancer, they are automatically eligible for my VIP or retrench employees as well. Mm. What's that? Hmm. Somebody else question lah. Nick. Oh, ada lagi? Ada, ada. Okay, ada. free graduates. Wait, wait, 3.30. I have to go already. I got another meeting eh. Okay, oh, final one question lah. Uh, can accept one, another one more. Okay, last one. Fresh graduates uh, means no working experience at all. Uh, fresh grads means they are fresh to the uh, workforce lah. Uh, assuming they are no working uh, uh, experience before joining your organization. Uh, okay. Can I answer Ron's question? If you want to have this kind of webinar, Ron, um, you just message me, book our time, and then usually I like to tag him with Nick when it comes to presentation. Like that. We are going full force, uh, last mile, uh, to go and promote what is my is all about because Nick is being, uh, I don't want to say pressured, lah, but Nick is being you know, uh, full force right now trying to promote yeah, we, we my do, because we do our best <laughs> to, 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 to promote my week because it's going to close on the table. So, Ron, if you want, let's do another one just for your business owners. Uh, but during office hours, uh, don't disturb us during after office hours. We, we, we have to do a lot of work also after office hours. So, uh, you book my time and then after that, I'll grab Nick. Like, Nick, just now, he didn't know that this is going to happen just now. So, I quickly go and uh, message him. Huh? I thought we're doing this on Thursday. No, no, no. Nick, come. So Nick can come in uh, whenever he can. If not, then I will present uh, as much best as we can uh, for the audience. Okay? You do that and try to do it before the 31st of August so that uh, the employers have more uh, time to go and submit the application. Okay, Ron? Yeah. Final one minute. The final agenda, right? Group photo, ada? Uh, oh, any other? Okay. I don't know. Uh, other, other. <laughs> this is a recorded session, actually. Uh, for those that are actually convenient to turn on, the video can actually turn on now so that we can actually see your handsome and beautiful face. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, our, our this session is actually up to uh, four o'clock. Uh, you know, uh, oh. the last the last the last half an hour will be will be my part to showing how oh. can we actually contribute because uh, as as my conversation with Carol, we are actually going to throw in our this uh, freemium for this performance management system on KPI and uh, this strategy execution tools, we call it OKR. So briefly, I'm going to show how it works. And then our course is actually uh, HRDF uh, kind of claimable. And, and right now, you can actually use it to claim uh, for attending this external training with uh, MDEC. Yes, uh, we actually got approval from uh, MDEC yeah, uh, about two weeks ago. Okay, so. Uh, any more questions for um, Nick and Carol? If not, I'm going to start my part. But before that, let's put up a thumbs up for Carol and uh, Nick uh, sharing. Yeah. I would say those who, so those who registered in this Zoom, those who registered in this Zoom, like Ron, they all, when you register your email, Sean uh, will have all the registered uh, emails or SVP. We will, they, they will definitely send the slides over. Yeah. Okay, mm. guys. All right. Yeah. Yes. Nanti I said, I, I will send him the PDF. Okay. okay, thank you so much, Carol. Thank okay, you. Okay, I have to go. Bye, guys. Thank you. Have fun Bye. learning uh, with Sean. Take care. Thank you, Sean. I see you online. Thank you. Same. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.
Thanks, thanks. Your stay put, stay put, stay put for Sean's uh, <laughs> uh, uh, presentation. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. All right. Now, uh, I would say thank you so much for your time. Well, I'm going to show uh, mine. Well, uh, just, just a quick, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, let me share my slide one minute. Yeah. Okay, because of the time uh, uh, taken, I will actually share, uh, go straight in uh, one minute. Uh, let me see how to share my screen. Yeah. Okay, now. So uh, guys, y'all can see my screen, right? Okay, now uh, a quick one. What I'm actually going to share, right, is actually on our this performance management. Well, seriously, when we talk about performance management, right, we cannot actually miss out this thing called strategies. Okay, strategies. Now, these strategies, there are actually two parts. One is actually development. You know how we actually formulate our this strategy as well as execute the strategies. Now, you and I know that uh, in the school, we actually spend a lot of time in this uh, strategy formulation development. Well, what is really challenging? It is actually the execution or development. Tell what? It is execution. And this is where we actually been least talked about it. So, yes, it is true. And in fact, this uh, John Dewell, the American investor, right? He said, ideas are easy. In fact, execution is everything. So, from here, you can see how tough it is to kind of uh, execute uh, uh, these are uh, strategies. Now, and in fact, uh, there is this, this thing, uh, I will actually skip through the slide, all right? Don't mind, because I'm actually going to share you uh, some of our, this uh, software. And now this software got one thing is, as I just mentioned, freemium and paid version. For uh, when you actually kind of uh, qualify for this uh, training incentive, right? Uh, and engage us as your, this uh, training provider, uh, you will be able to get our, this uh, training for free, of course where you are able to claim from a government and our software for free, up to 15 people of, uh, of uh, this uh, user, right? All right. So now in this uh, survey result, right, from Harvard Business, Phobi, they all have confirmed execution is actually the most challenging thing. Even, even the CEO around the world actually rank this strategy execution as the number one challenge to them. Okay, majority of company actually didn't do well with this uh, strategy execution but most actually do well with strategy formulation. So what our focus today is, uh, we are going to, going to talk about more on how our tool is going to help you to do on these strategy executions. All right, now uh, let's go on to this. Uh, let me uh, put on this uh, slide uh, on a slide show. Uh, if you have questions, uh, feel free to shoot me uh, questions, yeah. Now, uh, for strategies, seriously, in order for us to execute successfully well the, the first thing will be of course to develop an attractive vision all right so that we are actually can inspire our these uh, team members and the next thing will be build a sound and executable strategy of course if it's not logic right seriously it's not executable so with our this um, uh, system we will you will be able to know how to do this translation from uh, pure words in terms of strategy strategy in terms of pure words into the strategic action plan so we are actually having this course. Our this course is going to kind of guide you through step by step how to kind of translate your strategy in words into strategic action planning so that you are able to start monitoring and tracking for the quality. All right. Now, and uh, if you wanted to do this strategy well, very important, you need to involve the uh, employee, of course. And through the process, you will then need to secure the commitment to execute the strategies. All right. Now, uh, this. This will be stuff that I used to do during the workshop in the normal days where I actually have uh, one hour. So I'm going to squeeze this one hour, uh, this workshop, right, into half an hour. So uh, let's quickly run through. Uh, is strategy the same with strategy action plan? What do you think? It is not. Okay, the answer is strategy is all about how you deploy resources, skill, and capabilities in order to achieve your goal. It is about making choices what to do and what not to do, okay? So it's actually going to talk about what, where, and when to do some things, all right? So that is actually about strategies. Then what about strategy uh, action plan? So the strategy plan is actually about the roadmap to strategy implementation. It's actually talking about how to do some things. How can we actually monitor the quality of these uh, strategy executions, okay? It's actually about setting the direction 
where the company actually, how to actually implement the strategies, all right? So I'm going to share very quickly uh, the, dif the difference between this uh, strategy and strategy execution uh, with a story, a story from this Intel and Motorola. That is actually happened 40 years ago. Okay, now back in 40 years ago, Intel was really, uh, I would say, popular with the chip where they actually designed and then better compared to this Texas, the competitors. And this Motorola actually came up with another uh, cheaper, better, easier to program chips, right? Against this Intel. So at the time, Intel was actually losing. So Intel actually come up with this uh, strategy to kind of uh, how to win the game. So what did they do? They actually come up with this strategy and also the decision we wanted to have achieved 2000 design win. All right. Now over the course. Now seriously, at the time, the Intel was actually losing, and this target means uh, it's actually a triple as compared to the original uh, target which they have been uh, actually losing at the time. So what do you think? At the end of the year, did they actually achieve this target or not? They actually overachieved 2,300. So how did they do it? They're actually using three concepts. First concept, they actually apply this OKR uh, management method. Now this OKR management method, according to them, has actually helped them to be able to focus on wildly important goals. So that is number one. And number two, now, most of the strategy actually fail. Seriously, they fail because the day-to-day -day operation was not aligned to the strategic action plan. So what is really important, so day-to-day -day operation, right, was not actually aligned. But for this Intel, they're actually having these two OKR to align everyone, every single one, uh, to what is actually important for the company. The the main focus area, all right? And the next thing will be, they are able to track, assess, and improve on lead measure. So lead measure, what does it mean? It means in, a, in terms of KPI, right? In terms of KPI, there is this result where it's already happened, nothing can be done. But there are also certain performance indicator that indicate there is something you can still do about it, all right? So that you are able to change, influence the result at the end of the day. So that is, actually OKR tools, which allow this company able to, uh, I would say, improve while during the journey in achieving their target, which, which, which has been set, all right? So the next thing is, of course, empower, motivate the people to excel, okay? So that is for the very first reason that they actually managed to win. And the next reason that they managed to win will be, they use a different positioning and messaging. So earlier on, uh, before that, they were actually focused on the device, short term, the, the, the device speed, you know, easy to use. And, and the targeted people for them to talk about is actually the programmer. All right. So after the, this discussion, after the meeting, they come up with a different messaging. So it's become solution focused, long term. Instead of selling to the end user, they sell it to the CEO. All right, so there's a, there's a difference between uh, this, this shift, all right? So, and the third one, uh, remember, uh, this actually happened 40 years ago. They have a different approach of doing things. So they have a very, very detailed things to create awareness first, instead of dumping all the information to the customer. So how did they do it? They come up with the articles. Then the next step will be getting, the, getting their audience, right? Started to do consideration. So, so that they're aware of what problem do they have so that they are able to start looking for this uh, solution. And how do they do it? Intel actually organizing uh, hundreds of these uh, seminars, printed many, many catalogs. And these catalogs are not this normal catalog, are future catalogs, catalogs that contain information about the future expansion of product line. All right. So, and from there, they're actually helping that they are this uh, target customer to make decision, to make better decision, okay? So, and that is how uh, they managed to turn around the situation and win over the competition, all right? So, and uh, in order for us to share with you our this uh, system, uh, which I'm going to share it to you now, yeah? Uh, give me a minute, uh. it is actually the system in my another, uh, this browser. Now, how are this system able to help yours would be, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, the first thing is actually about the OKR, am I right? Now, uh, what's the use of this OKR? Uh, this OKR, right? Uh, let me select this uh, OKR. Okay, now, 
uh, with this OKR, and, and this exact uh, this will be the exactly the same concept how Intel applied this and beaten uh, Motorola. So they managed to get the personal level to the team level, the department level, and the company level all to go in one direction. And everybody are able to know what is everybody objective. So for this objective, right? Okay, objective here is actually to grow company profit extensively by 120% for Q1. Yes, OKR usually are actually designed in uh, to work with quarterly, especially the team OKR. Now for this, for this uh, result is actually a key result. Uh, the number one is actually about sales revenue. How much do they actually wanted to achieve? It's actually 600,000. And the conversion rate from 1% increased to 3%. So they actually started to track. So as you can see here, the objective, uh, how far it is from the goal, is actually lacking too much by 36%. All right. So very clearly, it's able to let you see what is the progress. Am I leading? Am I lagging? And our system also allows you to see whether what is your confidence level. Do you actually have a high confidence level to achieve your this goal or a low confidence level or not? Okay, so this is basically the OKR at a at a what I would say a 2D kind of uh, dimension of vision. If you are actually uh, wanted to see how each level is actually aligned to each other, we are actually having this alignment. Okay, now uh, let me show you this. Say this Jane company uh, at the at the uh, at the corporate level, they are having two company level objective. Number one is actually increase Q2 uh, revenue and the other one is actually upgrade the capacity, all right? And the moment you click on this button, right, it will actually start expanding, okay? To let you know the department level objective that is aligned to my this company one, one is actually from sales department and the objective is actually to achieve 10 million and the marketing department is actually to bring up product uh, image. So we can actually further to uh, split down to see who, who is actually responsible for it, all right? Now, over here, we can see at the personal level, it is actually to achieve Q2 revenue, and uh, another person is actually uh, to achieve 3 million revenue. Now, this number is actually indicating how far are they actually achieving for now, okay? So, and uh, if you wanted to know more on this marketing, as you can see, when we, I click, I will be able to see this personal level. It's actually by uh, Sarah. And uh, and this uh, at personal level, this Jin Yong has not even started. Probably she has actually uh, you know uh, facing some dead end. So from here, we can actually have a very easy overview, you know, of uh, what is the whole organization. Uh, where are they actually uh, heading to now, and are they actually getting stuck? All right. So this is actually more on uh, another objective, another company objective about upgrade capacity. So upgrade capacity is actually more on project department, as you can see. So this, I can actually further from department level, I can still cascade it down to this uh, personal level. All right, this is actually handled by this uh, Kuma. All right, so we can see everyone in the companies when they're actually using of this system to tell everyone what is their progress in the companies. Okay, so, and if some of y'all are actually in this uh, strategic, le strategic level, right? I believe y'all will actually enjoy our this uh, system on uh, this my SAP. Now, uh, under my SAP actually stands for my strategic action plan. Or uh, over here, you'll be able to put in your vision, mission, short term plan, and long term plan here. And and you know, it's actually to me, it's very important to let our this uh, member uh, team member know what is our this uh, core value, the value that we actually value in the companies. It is actually a value as a guiding line. Uh, invisible getting line for our this uh, teammate, what to do and what not to do. Okay, right. So it is very important to us, and uh, this focus area and also initiative. Initiative actually stands for the task that we need to actually carry out in order to uh, progress in these financial sections for for the focus area which we have just identified. All right. So and initiative, uh, what task to do. What are the important uh, things that we need to actually accomplish? And then this will be the time frame in Q1, Q3, Q4, or and this will be indicating the status. And if we want, we can actually go down to our this uh, draw board. I would say uh, drafting board, uh, yeah, planning draft board. So that is actually exact. I would say the exact uh, uh, replica of uh, messages. 
from where we actually see, here allow us to do freehand planning. You can drag and drop. Okay. If you think that actually uh, my my Q4 my Q4 is actually not happening, or, or I want to actually get it started earlier, I can drag and drop here. So letting the team know, okay, in Q4, I, I'm, I'm actually bringing it forward. Yeah, I'm actually bringing it forward. So let's uh, put back. Yeah, if you think that you have actually made a mistake, you can easily put back the, to the original place. Now, this is drag and drop, very easy to use. All right, for those people actually in the planning, strategize, uh, you know, division, this will be very, very helpful. Okay. Now, another thing that I wanted to show will be this OKR by focus area. Now, uh, as you can see here, uh, some of your probably is using balance call card. All right, balance call card. Now, uh, you can see this is actually a comparative focus area for balance call card. Here, you can actually put out what is your weightage for each. And over here, you can actually start tracking. Where are you now in terms of your strategic execution? So because, you're, because you manage to have this overview very clearly, every single initiative, uh, uh, what is the progress? So that you're able to pinpoint which one actually need your attention. All right, okay. So as you can see here, uh, I can tell you what is your focus area, say in financial, right? Uh, say your focus area is actually in terms of financial. Uh, what is what would be your this initiative? Your initiative probably is transformation set one. Okay, all business unit initiative. Okay, if you want to deep uh, go dive into more detail, right? You can actually go further. Yeah, and then milestone it can be your budget spend and objective. From here we can tell what are the goals that we wanted to achieve and how do we know we are actually getting there or not? So we actually measure and track with our this uh, key result. Okay, so as you can see, key result number one is actually acquire gross profit of twenty million. Yeah, so that it tells us whether are we actually into this profitability growth by 140%. And the next key result is actually getting customer into client become our VIP list, as well as free voucher and then uh, maximize use of uh, equipment through regular maintenance. So this actually going to help management people into, uh, I would say, monitoring and evaluate uh, whether this quarter have we been actually achieving our this target or not. Okay, so and easily if you actually have multiple company for those actually uh, MMC company or a group or if you have a group of company, you, you can actually select your this group of company over here. Okay, right. Say you will have another company called XYZ uh, co Cosmetic and then you want to actually have a look at the uh, focus area of expand the market. So from here you can easily see uh, in terms of this, uh, uh, this uh, focus area and for my uh, initiative of focus into partnering program and what will be my milestone in acquiring 10 partners from Malaysia and Singapore. And here will indicate what is the OKR progress. You know, uh, when you're actually having, having this uh, color of 86%, right, for objective, then you know that you are actually probably uh, on track, okay? And this 100%, you know that you are actually achieved. And in red, probably it is something that you need to alarm with, okay, right? So uh, this will be the tools that we have for our this uh, OKR. Now, in fact, our tools actually have more than that. Uh, in our tools, we actually have a KPI, you know, allow you to do this, uh, what they call uh, evaluation, you know, and our course, right, our training is actually about teaching our, how should I put it? Uh, you know, in order for a person to, able, to be able to apply KPI correctly, we will actually prepare your team to know what is the purpose for your mission, for your company mission. What do you want to accomplish? Because we strongly believe without purpose, the team really do not know what really to give their all to do it. All right. So, and uh, this, the tools that we have will be a complementary tools to, to let you all to do better leadership, better management and better coaching. And, and uh, that is, the reason why also our two days training, right? That is actually in Congress with the MDEC. Yes, you are able to do this training with us. And when you do the training with us, you will be able to claim this 8,000. And we will also will assist you in this, uh, what I call uh, training program, training incentive. All right. And in fact, uh, for those that are actually interested to, to kind of explore for more, uh, by all means, let us know. Yeah. 
And uh, let me see. Uh, our, I'm thinking to show you more on this uh, subordinate KPI. If, if uh, let me see. Uh, so here will be the the demo demo. I would say some of the uh, reading you can see here. All right. If you are actually interested to look at this uh, James Lim in more detail, I just click. So this will be the uh, KPI for this James, where we are able to put in what is the weightages, yeah, to to kind of uh, to tell us which one is actually more important, okay. So and from this individual uh, KPI, we will then able to have the this uh, ultimate KPI. So here we can see this person is actually ranked as excellent. Now what to do with information like this? Well, seriously, it is for your year end number one. Actually, uh, many bonus, many bonuses are uh, actually declare uh, through favorism. Okay, through probably whoever know to take the heart of the superior. Yeah, will get the most bonuses. Yeah, sometimes to to some of the company. So one of the right thing to do is, uh, you can actually tie up your performance, which is rated with KPI, to your this declare number of bonus for the year, okay? So in this way, you, uh, you will be able to motivate and, and, and to let your this the team know you are paying according to performance. And your performance, it is not just by purely competency evaluation. It is through KPI. So our this course, right? Uh, this two days course, uh, as uh, mentioned by Carol, it is actually no limit of a uh, number of hours so when you actually do this training with us, yes, it will come along with this software, all right, to help your company to, to more than just knowing how to do it. You will have something to help you, the software to help you to do something, okay? And with the software, you will be able to save a lot of time for your, this uh, HR department, all right? And, and now this software, I've uh, seen more than that, it allows you to do 360 feedback. And especially for senior executive, uh, senior executive, uh, one of the way uh, we are doing this uh, feedback will be actually through 360 feedback. Okay, what do I mean by this? It is about the peers feeding the information. Uh, how is this person is actually performing? As you can see, uh, this competency, you can actually freely to put in your this uh, competency that you're actually interested to show. So, uh, the competency that we actually listed here is actually patience, self-confidence, open to criticism, trust others appropriately, respect by others, and avoid bias. Now, this basically, uh, the person can do self-evaluate. Then others means the subordinate, the supervisor, and the peers can actually rate, it, rate this person. Okay, from there, we'll tell them what is the differences. Okay, now, and this will be the, I would say, the spider chart to tell us uh, how is it, uh, graphically representing the oh, okay, at, the, at this red one is actually the peers, okay. And if we if we do not want too many squeeze in one, we can just uh, you know uh, reduce the subordinate, all right, okay. So and this will be a different view, yeah, of this uh, bar chart, okay. So um, that's basically will be more. There will be more more information uh, for our this uh, software because of this. Limited of time, I will not be showing everything <laughs> to, to yours. And for those that are actually interested to know more, can actually um, send message to us, to uh, William, yeah? And we will actually come back to yours. Okay, we have uh, six minutes for Q&A. Uh, hopefully, it is not too rushed for me to kind of uh, uh, fry through with the detail. Okay. Uh, Anything else that you wanted to know for Gary or Sia or Era? Um, hi, Mr. Sean. Oh, hi, Gary Pong. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sean, yes. Uh, um, regarding just you mentioned that, that this uh, we are able to utilize this me uh, index uh, incentive right for your system as well, right? Yes, correct. Yes, both mm. for the training and the software. Uh, the moment you do training with us, right, the software will come along for free. Mm, oh, uh, I see, I see. Oh, it depends that, on how many people you do it with us, lah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, because our our software is free because we actually uh, help you to calculate each user, how many user, and how much it is. Then we actually factor it in. 
Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, yeah. after you consider those headcount and then there's an um, amounted figure, so yes. the amounted figure has been yes. approved by and that is how you say. Yeah, correct. Uh, yes. I see. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Then um. Probably I'll I'll chat separately with William then. <laughs> Thank yes, you, uh, yes, you. yes, yes. And in fact, William will be very busy. <laughs> she, she, he will be flying to our staff to 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 train one of uh, our this uh, client. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a listed company in a uh, property. Uh, they are in construction and uh, engineering business also. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Any more questions? I I hope I hope I didn't fly through and miss out too much of the details. Oh. Okay. Okay, any questions? No more questions, ah? Uh? Then you all can PM us for separate discussion, yeah? Okay, so I would say thank you so much, Gary and uh, Sia for uh, coming to attend, yeah, for all these uh, sessions. Thank you so much. Have